Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolfie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video on the weekend, which means I have to be super silent during the entirety of it. I hope you don't mind. I do have my assistant, Vanessa, who will help us break down the actual unit, but just to let you know, that's why I'm going to be super quiet. But let's get into it, huh? Because <clears throat> today's Gala Dragalia has been revealed to be Galamina, which was a unit I actually thought had potential of coming over and I'm actually super excited to see her because I've been talking with friends saying like wouldn't it be funny if Nina was in the game and now we've come so far into the game where Nina can actually be in the game. So let's go over her and talk about it real quick. So let's start. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring it over to my assistant Vanessa. Vanessa please tell us what she does. Skill 1 pop-up shop. Shrivel 6. Restores HP to all teammates. This recovery is increased to 10 times its normal potency for teammates who are at 30% of their maximum HP or less. Then, gradually recovers the entire team's HP. In addition, activates the following cumulative effects based on the number of charges the shopkeeper gauge has. One or more, this skill's recovery potency is increased. Two or more, removes all afflictions from the entire team. Three, grants the entire team a team strength amp. Skill energy required, 5916. Skill energy required, 9169. Skill to everything must, go! This skill can only be used when the shopkeeper gauge is completely filled. Completely consumes the shopkeeper gauge, revives any incapacitated teammates, and completely restores their HP. Also, restores HP to all teammates and removes all afflictions from the entire team. Furthermore, partially fills the skill gauges of all teammates, excluding the user and dragons. During this skill, the user will be immune to knockback. Special Effects, Revival, Recovered from Afflictions. Skill Prep Potency, 100%. Co ability. Recovery potency plus 20%. Chain co ability. Team strength amp equals HP Reagan V. Sharp shopkeeping 2. Grants the user a shopkeeper gauge that has 3 charges and is completely filled at the start of quests. The shopkeeper gauge is filled by using pop up shop. Also, grants the user a unique force strike that deals damage to the target and nearby enemies. When the shopkeeper gauge has one or more charges, this force strike will also dispel enemy buffs. Freeze res plus 100%. Ceaseless sales 2. Grants pop-up shop a skill gauge attached to its skill button. When the shopkeeper gauge has one or more charges, pop-up shop can be used even if its skill gauge is not filled. Using pop-up shop in this way will consume one charge of the shopkeeper gauge. Also, consuming one or more charges of the shopkeeper gauge will grant the entire team a team strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 1. After this amp is granted, this ability will not grant it again for 45 seconds. That's what she does. So, the thing that most people were able to gravitate most when she was first revealed was the fact that she could revive on a skill. We have had revival stuff in the past, such as having Worm Prince at revive and having a unit whose entire thing was built around revival. Um, in theory, reviving is good in general. There seems to be some group of people who don't see um, reviving as anything viable, and the response to that is pretty simple, that if you don't their idea is that why would you plan to die and the most obvious comeback to that is it is in the consciousness of people to plan for everything including failure because do not plan for failure is to in yourself commit failure so there's really no good way around it but the way it works in Dragalia it's actually not that great <clears throat> the reason is is that um, it's kind of based off of like so yeah here it is 
You have to see in-game help sections. There are certain quests where you can't revive, so therefore you can't revive people, which is not how traditional reviving works. It's just what people expect when they see reviving, is that if they see revival, that means I'll oh, just bring them back. It shouldn't be that hard. And I agree, it should work that way, but it doesn't work that way. How it works is that it's like, oh no, if everyone dies and you can't continue, and that's what it's based off of, which is dumb. It's actually very stupid that it works that way, but I guess Dragalia is a very simple game, so it doesn't actually want to um, start working on bosses. Like, there are ways where <coughs> a boss could deal so much damage to a singular enemy that it'd be a good idea to have someone with revive handy, just in case they kind of go down one or two dudes, depending on the fight. But Dragalia is just not that kind of game. When you think of games like that, you think of more complicated games, more kind of like, yeah, what's the right word? Console game. I guess real games is the <laughs> nice way of saying it. Not to say that you is a fake game, but it is a mobile game. And because it's a mobile game, it's very simple. And it's very simple that in Dragalia, all you really need to do is to plan to either have big hit, big heal, big defense. And right now, I think, <laughs> right now, I think she's got a lot of heal on her. I think I've seen some people say that she should have over damage. And the thing I'd say to that is, yeah, I think that's actually a pretty fair criticism. Um, though it does seem like she kind of makes it impossible for anyone to die regardless. At least based off what I'm reading here. And then you can have her on turn one, not turn one, slot one, give her the over damage shared skill, give her some defense for herself, and then the other three just open up shop like there's there's no killing anyone at that point she's gonna be healing so much at least that's the way i think she would work right now but um i guess the main thing here is that most people would kind of like want a healer that can give more attack and the funny thing is is that the, the other wind healers their best skills are shareable so you could just take akasha's well you don't even need akasha's because the one you actually want is because she gives over damage, but then you could just use a shared skill of someone like um, Galazena, who just got a fantastic one with hers. But if you don't have Galazena, then I guess you would have to have the Mana Spiral version of Kasha and stuff like that. <laughs> it's all theoretical, I guess, what I'm talking about here. But either way, none of that matters, because at the end of the day, Nina's really cool. And that's actually what I care about most in a unit, is that I like Nina, I like what she does, I'm all here for it. If you want to talk about the nitty gritty of the game itself, I think there's a lot of valid arguments that you can make as to why she's not the greatest thing in the world. Um, and none of those will matter to me, because it's Nina. Look at this girl. She's the shop girl. Who wouldn't want- look at that smile. And that's why I'm summoning, so... <laughs> That's the video, everyone. Oh, I guess there's other stuff on this Jugali remix, but who cares? It's fucking Gala Reborn Zephyr. Get the hell out of here. I have too many of them. Bring back Reborn Gene or don't. I don't care. Either bring back Reborn Gene or the second part of the Jugali remix may as well not exist. Um, I'm probably going to be trying for her, but because it's the weekend, I'm not going to record my summons. And hopefully I get her. If I get her, I'll gladly show her off. I think it's probably a easy skip for most people unless you super care about Nina. And if you're someone who thinks that she's super good but you're kind of cautious as to how good she's going to be, just let other people like me bite the bullet for you. <laughs> it's that simple. If you don't want to pull, just wait and eventually someone will tell you. And once someone has actually experience with them, feel free to go off. But yeah, they should really work how reviving works. It should work like a regular game, but <sighs> it doesn't, which is a shame. That's the end of the video, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. But Vanessa, while you're here, say goodbye to the people. Say... Say bye. Bye. Guys. Bye bye, guys. There you go. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.